two erudite gentlemen who have joined us in the studio. Ben, people have missed hearing your voice at this oh. time of the morning for the past couple of weeks. Good morning to Bernardino Kokuavle. Are you sure somebody has missed my voice? Charlie, the they haven't been hearing you between 6 and 10 a.m. Monday to Friday. Nobody has you told know? me they've missed my voice. <laughs> 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 oh, Charlie. Nathan Kwao, good morning. Hello, hello, good morning. Good morning, guys. Good it's, morning. How's the Friday feeling? I, I, I don't even know what days mean anymore. Oh, it's really? just today. Like, I don't even know whether it's a Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I don't know. So, like, if you hadn't said it was Friday, I'd have thought it was, like, Wednesday or something. I really don't know what day it is. But anyhow, we are ready to fire. We yeah. have the newspapers. We have lots of stories. The, the stories are developing. We're seeing a pattern. Mm -hmm. We're getting some clarity so we can move to the next level. Right. Fire. Fire. Let's mm. go. We've got a lot to say. Okay. All right. So, the Daily Graphic, EC Declaration Precise, according to Codeo, that's their front page. Also, President appoints transition team. Now, this is interesting. 111 MPs out of the next parliament. Yes. So that's a bombshell for you. Meanwhile, election violence under investigation according to the election tax force. Okay, if you go to the Ghanaian Times, it says presidential election result credible. <laughs> that's Kodeo. We reject presidential result. NDC insists. Mm. NMC comments media for election coverage. And IGP assures police, invest police investigations into electoral violence. Moving on to the Herald, Mahama finally breaks silence over ISIS declaration. Describes 2020 polls as flawed election with fictionalized results mm. meant to justify a stolen verdict. Also, Mosquito calls IGP leader of MPP militia supervising killings without shame. Meanwhile, Northern Region police and military cook fictional story against MP elect. Retrieved two AK 47 weapons from his campaign office at midnight. Mm -hmm. And um, the finder says, Kodeo affirms Nanes' victory, scores him 50.98 and 47.66 for Mahama. Mm -hmm. Namado names 15-member transition team. U.S. Ambassador congratulates Ekufuado or President Ekufuado on his re-election. All incidents of violence at polling stations being investigated. That's the IGP there. EU mission condemns NCA's issuance of license to media owned or linked to politicians. Mm -hmm. And Ghana's active coronavirus case count stands at 892. Plus, use legal means to uh, seek redress. That's according to ECOWAS. The Daily Statesman, Akufuado appoints transition team story on page 2. Also, MPP grabs 137 seats, NDC 136. Famina MP, Senate West to decide majority. In other headlines, government satisfied with victory margin in uh, Monday's poll, and Ameu begins construction of state of the art palace at Vili. <laughs> it's not really time at all. <laughs> Jump there, Ameu. He's a big man for talk. Big yeah. man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the new weekend crusading guy says government back to work mm. as NDC still weeps. MPP to review its parliamentary primary system, MacMenu. Mm. Ekufado appoints transition team and patriotic agenda pushes. Congratulate Ekufado and Aduma Kisi on their victory. Daily Guard has a nice photo of, okay, photos of about uh, 12 new entrants into parliament with the likes of Stephen Amwa, Dakuan Newman, uh, Elizabeth Ofosue Jari, Rita Odole Sowa, Ophelia Mensa Hefo, Dr. Kinsley Nyaku, Gizala Butete Abotui, Francis Asensu Bachi. Really nice photos. And the story says new faces in parliament. Mm. There's also NDC talks of election defeat and Kumasi stands still for Nana. Okay. The Chronicle says DCE leads assault on COP, panels him for detaining suspect. Mm. Kodeo sanctifies EC verdict. NPP youth vandalize DCE office. Mm. EC settles parliamentary seat dispute and rejected ballot party beats Goom and <laughs> others. Amazing stuff. Now, the BNFT says stock markets inch up amid election and easy calm as investors confident of nation's political stability. Story of page three. Also, consolidate fiber installations to accelerate economic development. NITA, telecoms chamber to telcos and state bodies. Meanwhile, Moody's expresses pessimism about Kufado's second term, compares fiscal situation to hippie economies. This story is by Obed Okay, Ooh, and right. the, the Canadian Observer says, 2020 elections are collated results tally with EC's Kodeo. MPP wins 137 parliamentary seats, NDC 136. EC delivered one of the best elections, President Kufado. We owe our victory to Ghanaians, MPP Women's Organizer, and over 500,000 victory margin in the midst of tough decisions taken 
apt for NPP. That's according to the information minister. Let's take you online for some stories. Citynewsroom.com. We didn't envisage reduction in our seats in parliament. Ooh. This is Chairman Sabunsu. Uh, also, I'm unwilling to accept fictionalized election outcome. Fictionalized, quote unquote. Also, Akufado appoints 15 member transition team, as we already said. And Mahama says NDC will protect constituencies under siege with crack team of lawyers <laughs> and party uh, officials. I can, I can only imagine. Now, there are a few other stories I thought would interest you. Uh, this is Goom. He's saying that they are preparing for victory in 2024. Hey! Yeah, man. Charlie? And then, this is hasty declaration of presidential results. Big blow to, to Ghana's democracy, according to Haruna Idrisu. If you go to marjohnline.com, election 2020, Mama questions ISIS credibility. Mm -hmm. Also, MPP to hold Islamic Thanksgiving service and prayers for Akufado Baumia today. Also, come restore to Tamale following burning of ties, uh, jubilation by NDC supporters. And Akufado's government likely to face massive fiscal deficits mm. in second term. This is according to an economist. If you go to Star FM, they are leading with 2020 polls. We'll reverse the travesty of justice, mm -hmm. according to Mahama. Meanwhile, Ponkuma says government is back to work. NDC says their parliamentary majority is intact. <laughs> and Akufado appoints 15 member transition teams. So lots of stories. We'll mm -hmm. make sense of them for you. Okay. GNA, president appoints transition team. NDC to challenge results of December 7 polls, according to Mahama. And presidential figures revised as well. I, I think this is from the EC. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know where you want to start from. Charlie? I have so many stories for you. So, so, fact, so many. Let me give you even Ghana reports uh, headlines. NPP will do post-mortem. Mm. Worried McMillan acknowledges poor performance. Also, NDC will contest election results using every legitimate means. Mm. This is the crux of what Mahama is saying. Meanwhile, easy response to NDC. Losers always complain. Let's get into the details. Yes, indeed. Okay. Right. Maybe we can start with the Ghanaian Times. And Kodeo has also given its take on the elections. Right. Mm. And that story is on page 16. Uh, that's in the center uh, spread of the Ghanaian Times. And it says, the Coalition of Domestic Election Observers, Kodeo, has affirmed the credibility of the 2020 presidential election results as announced by the Electoral Commission on Wednesday. <coughs> Sorry. It said, its pre-election and election day observation reports, as well as parallel vote tabulation data, show that the results declared reflected how Ghanaians voted in the December 7 presidential polls. And there's a quote, we encourage any party or candidate with issues about the presidential elections to peacefully resolve these through proper legal and procedural channels. And quote, it said in its statement on the official results of the 2020 presidential election. The acting chairman of Kodeo Sheikh, Arimeya Shaibu, who read the statement at a press conference in Accra yesterday, appealed to Ghanaians to remain calm, law-abiding, and allow the systems to work. Mm -hmm. Now, so what Kodeo did was to publish its um, own estimate of the percentages of right. each candidate. So if you look at what the EC gave each candidate, Kodeo's um, estimate was within specific margins of error matches. So for example, the Kodeo gives Nakufado 50.98. Right. And I think Akufado was given 51.30 by the EC. By the EC. Uh, Kodio's PVT <laughs> estimate gives John Dwani Mama 47.66, which is slightly higher than the 47.35. So the 50.9 is 8, is slightly lower than the 51.30 mm -hmm. Akufado was given by the EC, which is the official result. John Mama got 47.66, slightly higher than the 47.35. And then Christian Andrews got the same 0 .0, 0 0.80. In fact, no candidate got more than 1%. No, in except both rejected that. So, in fact, Goom is the only person who got anything, anything close. close to 1. Ivor got 0 0.09. Hmm. Now, the difference is really in inconsequential. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a couple of things coming up on the numbers. So, there's a, 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 a group mm -hmm. that has sent out a press release called the Research and Grant Institute of Ghana. Mm -hmm. So, they basically say the EC had a computational error in the first round of results. Mm -hmm. Now, the EC had sent a corrected result. And the group still says... While the response from the EC is very timely, they acknowledge that re 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 report, they say there are several lingering questions relating to the credibility of the presidential election results that researchers, data scientists, policy makers, and um, policy stakeholders demand answers for. This is particularly important given that the error was not limited to the total number of valid votes cast, but also the total number of valid votes obtained by each candidate. Mm -hmm. So they basically said there was a 2.3% difference. If you add the total percentages, you didn't get the exact 100 now they have about five questions and indeed i think the herald captures those questions in one of its stories so basically what i'm saying is that you have the pvt story 
from Kodeo, yeah. and Kodeo has done this since 2008. Right. And you also have a group that says that EC still needs to answer a few questions about mm -hmm. some computational errors. So that's on mathematics and statistics. Yes. But there's still a lot of things happening. A lot of with things the happening. The, the, the newspapers yes. still with the election. So Nathan, there's more? Well, yes, the NMC uh, is speaking, and the NMC has um, commended the media for working professionally in the coverage of this year's elections. Mm -hmm. Now, in a statement signed and issued in Accra by Alexander Bannerman, De Deputy Executive Secretary of the NMC, um, the statement further lauded the media for their patience and tolerance in the collation stage of the now, election. Now, let me, let me give you the, 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 the quick one from Mahama yesterday. So mm -hmm. at 9 p.m., he addressed the nation and he says he's unwilling to accept what he describes as fictionalized election outcome. This story is on citynewsroom.com. Yes. And it says the NDC flag branch on Dramani Mahama has refused to accept President Akufado's election victory. He described the election results announced by the EC as, quote, fictionalized. From Monday, December 7, exposed a deliberate plan to manipulate and predetermine the results of the election in favor of the incumbent candidate Anna Kufu Addo. Now, Mr. Mahama insists that his party emerged victorious in the polls after winning nine regions and quote, no amount of trickery, sleight of hand, and obfuscation will erase that reality. Mm -hmm. um, the Herald has that. A couple of papers also have that. Daily Guy says in, uh, NDC sulks over election defeat. So it's the same story, but with a different same slant. story. And I'm sure we're going to listen to that that uh, well, uh, uh, press conference again oh, later yes. on in the show. And Definitely. then there's the Mosquito press conference too. Yes. Which also has a, lo yes. a whole lot of things. A chock full of sound bites. Yeah. Yes. yes. So a couple of things I need to point out. So yeah. the Mahama one had more to do with the presidential result and mm -hmm. also mentioned some things about parliament. There was a press conference about a lot of parliamentary issues yes. going around. I think about four seats mm -hmm. in contention also. Right. On page three of uh, the Ghanaian Times, it says, Irate Goom agents invade church, destroy property. <laughs> wow. At least 300 Irate agents of the Ghana Union Movement, Goom, on Wednesday, vandalized prop property of the party's flag bearer at his Life Assembly Worship Center Church at Odoko in Accra. Why? For non-payment of allowances. Oh, the party agents were reported to have stormed the church premises to demand unpaid money from Mr. Christian Kwabna Andrews, popularly known as Sofo Chiabosum, who contested the recent presidential election on the ticket of Goom in the December 7 polls. The agents became violent and held stones, destroying five glass windows mm. at the church premises which is the party's headquarters during the absence of the presidential candidate. Oh, oh now, dear. according to DSP Ifia Tenga, who's the Accra Regional Police Command PRO, uh, Deputy Superintendent of Police Ifia Tenga, she confirmed the story to the Ghanaian Times in Accra and said the police received info that the church was under attack and the Odoko Divisional Police Commander of uh, Odoko Divisional Police Commander Assistant Commissioner of Police Boatia Pintin mm -hmm. led a team of police to the scene. Now, right. still on Groom, I'll just give you a quick one. He says we'll start preparing grounds for election victory 2024 soon. This is the Groom candidate. Says leader and presidential candidate of the Ghana Union Movement in the just ended election, Reverend Christian Kabnandrus, popularly known as Osofa Chirabosum, says his party will start preparing a campaigning towards the 2020 general elections. Mm. You will let us rest. Jelly. Mr. <laughs> Andrews obtained 0.085%, 0 0 which is 105,548 votes out of the 30 million votes cast. And mm -hmm. in an interview with City News, Mr. Andrews admitted that his party could not win the 2020 elections due to limited time he had for campaigning. All right. There was a story about the number of MPs who are yes. not returning to parliament. That's big number. Graphic page 13. Yeah. If you want that, a total of Watch out for this. 111 mm. yes. mm -hmm. members of the 7th Parliament will not return to legislature. Mm. Don't forget, some of them went out through primaries. Right. And the rest went out through the main election. Mm -hmm. Some now, retired. Yes. Out of the 275 seats in the legislative house, the MPP had 169, while the NDC had 109. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the parliamentary elections last Monday saw 33 incumbent MPP MPs lose their seats, while 41 had lost their constituency primaries earlier. So NPP together had 74 going, mm -hmm. 33 through the election, 41 through primaries. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, NDC, 18 MPs lost their re-election bid in Monday's election. Eight had lost their primaries, so that's, uh, and seven voluntarily retired. Mm -hmm. This means 33 NDC MPs will also not return to parliament. Now, if you put 33 to uh, together with the a number for MPP, you get 111. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some big names as well. Big. So in order of ranking, Haji Alima Mahama, Minister for Local, local Government, government. Naleru Gambaga, 
Elizabeth Ofo, uh, Afole Kwe, Fisheries, Crow Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture, Mrs. Barbara Ting Jesse, Christian Honey Valley, mm -hmm. Minister of Tourism, Kofi Amwakoeni, Atebu Bamantin, Bono East Regional Minister, mm -hmm. Professor George Jambafo, Wayne Chief Minister for Planning, Michael Jato, mm -hmm. Deputy Minister for Sanitation, Krachi East, Boniface, Abubakar Sadiq, Madina, Minister of State, Anthony Cabo, Deputy Minister for Roads, Major Derrick Odro, retired. Nkranzano, Deputy Defense Minister, Bernardo Koboy, Deputy Minister for Health. There's so many. So the many. story's on page 16, it continues. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all, right. all of IGP related stories, Nathan. Yeah. Yes, if you go to um, page four, uh, was it, yes, page four of the find that says, all incidents of violence at polling stations being investigated. So the chairman of the National Election Security Task Force, James Opombuenu, who is the IGP, has assured the public that all recorded incidents during the elections are being investigated in line with criminal justice and the rule of law procedures. Mm. Speaking to the media uh, post-election, he further noted that the outcome of the investigations would be duly brought to the notice of Ghanaians. Now, uh, the story went on to detail that the task force recorded 61 electoral and post-electoral incidents nationwide, and out of that number, 21 have been identified as true cases of electoral violence. Six involved gunshots, resulting in a death of five persons. Right then. So, out with the old and in with the new, regards so, to the parliament. Some new actually. exciting stories. Yes. I, I like the delayed guy's uh, angle on this. New faces in parliament. Mm -hmm. And as Kofi report says, new faces will make up the eighth parliament of the Fourth Republic of Ghana after the December 7th election saw a flurry of parliamentary seats changing <coughs> hands. Okay, so they also talk about some of the new people. Yeah. Um, now, let me give you some. The the House will feature Mohammed Adamu Ramadan of NDC, mm -hmm. representing Adenta after the throne in Yabu Abinga, Samoa. Um, Madina Ogat, Francis Xavier Sosu, lawyer mm -hmm. defeated Boniface Sadiq. Joseph Kwesi Mensah, NDC, PIP, MPPs, Major Richard Odro, Deputy Minister for Defense. Gisela Tete Abutui, sister of Hannah Tete, will be in the House to represent Utu Senya East, Senya West after defeating George mm -hmm. Nini Hegan, uh, uh, Anda. Uh, Alaj Baba Isifu, Nalerigu Gambaga replacing uh, Haji Ali Mahama. So they choose to focus on the new replacing the old. They <coughs> yes. focus on the old living. <laughs> now, just on the front page, I, I like the photo. So you have mm -hmm. Stephen Amwa in Shaeso, no surprise there, is an MPP stronghold. Mm -hmm. Dakwa Newman, Dakwa Newman yes. MPP Okainkwe South, mm -hmm. Dr. Dixon Adumaku Kisi, MPP Anya Soutum, mm -hmm. uh, that's your constituency. Yep. Elizabeth Ofuese Jari is a former minister yes. under NDC, Tichiman North, mm -hmm. that's where she's going. Dr. Prince Hamid Ama, mm. he's the chief executive of the curriculum. Yeah, nice. Kwesi MP, Minton. Kwesi Minton, Western Region. Former MC for Lada de Kotokbom mm. back in parliament, Rita yes. Odole Sowa. 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 Mm. Sheila Battles, <coughs> Battles yeah. MPP, mm -hmm. uh, Ablikuma Ablikuma North, mm -hmm. uh, daughter of Kwamina Battles, Francis Asensu, Bachi Chief of Staff, mm -hmm. MPP Bantama, Gisela Tetabotui, architect, NDC Utu Senya West, Dr. Kinsley Nyako, formerly of Dankwa Institute, mm. and also. Uh, I think the accreditation board now quite as so, and Ophelia Mensah here for infant man. Mm. She's the widow mm. of the, the slain, slain. And, the and then of course Alassan Kobina Gansa is a commander of Brakwa NDC. So that that's the daily guys yep. angle. Yep. Since we are talking about new things, the president yesterday named a 15 member transition yes. team. Yes, has all kinds of crack names mm. there. Crack chaired team. by <laughs> crack team, chaired by Akosia Fremonse or Paris chief of staff. And there's Yawa Safumafu, Gloria Kufu, Keno Furiata, Ambrose Derry, Dominic Nitiwu, mm. Haja Lima Mahama, and Shere Akobochi, and many others. They are supervising the transition. Mm. But what, what are we transitioning from and what are we transitioning to? But the transition, no, the transition... Uh, uh, A lot of people act, have been asking it's, it's this. It's very clear. Yes. The, the government that is about to hand over, whether it hands over to itself or somebody it's else, an it's an old, old government. government. So this is the, it, it has to hand over because mm -hmm. they have to be handing over notes because we don't know if the president, even if he will, will maintain those the ministers, cabinet ministers okay, we it's don't a new, know. completely Fine. new government with, with new focus and everything. Now, in <laughs> fact, let me give you a couple of stories around this economy. Stock markets inch up amid election and easy calm as investors are confident of our nation's political stability. This is on page three. And it says that um, despite the uncertainty which characterized the keenly contested election, uh, uh, the GSE has not reacted adversely, but has, as a matter of fact, recorded some marginal gains. The BNFT can confirm. On Tuesday, the first trading session of the week, the stock market recorded gains with the Ghana Stock Exchange Composite Index, which measures the movement of all listed equities, appreciating by 1.54% day on day, consequently reducing its year to date loss to 18.1%. And then they give other indices. Uh, although 
still on the market. Moody's is expressing pessimism over Akufa the second term in relation to fiscal situation mm -hmm. and says that credit rating firm Moody's has stressed that uh, Akufado will continue to face major challenges that will curtail the country's credit worthiness, etc., etc. So that's on the economy. I don't know if you want anything else or whether we should leave because I, <laughs> I think we've got a lot to talk about and a lot of voices will be heard today because a lot of politicians have been talking. Okay. So thank you, Bernard. Thank, thank you. you, Nathan. Right. Yes, we'll be back uh, in a bit. Stay tuned. It is the City Breakfast Show, 97.3 City FM. Get ready with your messages. WhatsApp is 0549-986-996. Our hashtag on Twitter is CityCBS. We want to hear from you regarding everything going on in the country right now. Stay tuned. This is the City Breakfast Show. The city's biggest conversation.